Hi, creative boys and girls, and welcome to a new tutorial. Well, not too new. It's like a, a different version of the old one. So this is all about turning 2D to 3D. And the best thing is that you don't even know, need to know how to draw or need to know how to sculpt or model. But you will need to know like how to bring into the 3D software. That's the final stage. So like before, we'll be starting through. We'll be starting using uh, an AI platform for 2D generated arts, which is called Leonardo.ai. Uh, it's a free platform. Every day they give you 150 tokens to generate your art. So for this example, I'll be using this one. I generated this last night just to test it out. But this platform, unlike Kadim and um, and uh, CSM, this one is free as the other ones. But it's a hugging paste platform, so you may, you will need to register for that. But for first of all, we need to get this to the art as it is. But we need to do something. We need to take into any of our um, 2D editing um, software we use, be it um, Photoshop or Photo P, and take away the background. It has to be a plain background, no distractions. So for that, I already created this. I already did that. So this was the original image, and then I turned it to this. So I moved the background so it's plain. I don't want any distraction because the software will extract and extrude whatever is around the, the, the character. So I wanted to just have the character, so I took away all distractions just to have only this. So once you have this ready, all you have to do is go to the is go to the hugging face platform, which is this one. But I will have the links of every um, platform I use below this video. Um, before we continue, please I want you to like and subscribe, and just to keep getting notifications for my tutorial. So quickly, all I have to do is the instruction is clear. Uh, just drag your image to this place. I'll drag mine. to the drop image here. Once you put it here, the next thing to do is, down here there are some examples um, that you can try just to see what the platform does. Uh, and then here you can see the button ticked here. What it means is that it's telling that whatever background that the art has, it will remove it. But just for, to give it less work, I'm going to just give it a plain background so that the work will be easier. I don't want to have a distracted background. So, distracting background, I mean. So now once I click on, Generate this button, 3D generate. Once I click on this button now, depending on the internet, we just wait for it to go about and just do what it's supposed to do. So immediately on the top right, you're going to find the queue. It starts already, starts counting. Uh, like it's going to 133.4 seconds. It will count, it gets to a level. Once it's done with that, it will move to the second layer under where it will do the same thing and get the final model. I think here, just to get, the top one is just to get the mesh, and then the bottom one is to get both texture and like refine the mesh. So it's going to take a while. I don't know if it's based on the internet, so I'll cut the video and come back when it. And so we're back now. It's done, and it will, once it's done, it will give you a preview on both uh, windows up and down. The first one is the model stage one. You can get to see what the approximate looks like, and then the bottom one is the refined, the bit refined mesh. So um, once the 3D um, is done, what we need to do now is we can download it. So the, you check the button on the side, you can find the small arrow on the top right. You download that to download the file to your system. I advise you download the bottom one, which is the final 3D. Uh, you can download that. So clicking the arrow on the bottom here, it will give you a file format called .glb. .glb is a 3D file format, it's quite tiny. And luckily for us, we have a free 3D software that can open it for us, which is Blender. So we're going to go check it in Blender. So this is the file downloaded to our system. And I'm going to quickly rename it to, call it uh, Toad, Toad Warrior. So once that is done, I will now go to my Blender, open Blender. So I'm using Blender 3.6. Uh, that's the one I'm using for. I don't know what the latest is, but this is 3.6. And I will, it's a free software, you can download it, go to the website. I'll put a link in the video below so you can use that too. Click on this, I'll just delete this cube, and then I'll go and import. Go to File, Import, and then go to the GTLF.2.0. In the brackets, you're going to find the GLB slash GTLF, so that's the file we use. Then go to, go, go to uh, Downloads. And then we'll go to the 2D, 3D forward. This is the file, the JLB format we downloaded from the website. I will import that and 
voila we have our 3d file format so right now Benda is showing us uh, in the mesh solid for mesh format the configure just so just fully up the ground a bit and then i will quickly go to the on your top right you're going to find the shader mode viewport shading mode the first one is where you're seeing right now is the solid shade mode when you're modeling just to see what the shape looks like in case you want to model a sculpt and then beside it the next one beside it is the material preview click on that and then you get to see the textures you can see there's some minor issues with the back because let's not forget we gave you just a front view picture so this is what we get it's a 3d you can go ahead and say you want to rig it i have a previous tutorial where i showed how to rig it with accurig or you can try to rig it uh, i think it's a free 3d software uh, rigging software it comes from real illusion or uh, you can go ahead and rig it on mixer mode platform whatever the choice is and then you can go ahead and or you can go ahead and just copy over this fix the textures and then you're good to go so yeah imagine where we'll be in the next few months you can start with this as a concept if you're a programmer just to get an idea of what 3d mesh you're looking for and then boom you can use that so i hope you make something amazing with this i'll put all links to these platforms below this video please like and subscribe share the video and if you have any other tutorial you want to see make a request in the comment below and i'll try to do what i can to find out and then get back to you guys.